Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. Is your girl precious in the building? <laughs> Okay, welcome back all of you. If you're new subscriber, welcome to the family and for my returning subscribers. I love you so much. Welcome back. Thanks for coming back. All right, on today's video, I want to be talking about something, something light. <laughs> okay, I actually have been seeing the post somewhere on Facebook, internet, people have been talking about it. Ladies using seasoning cubes for boots enlargements yes seasoning cubes like maggie none whatever it is seasoning cubes for enlargement of the buttocks to make it bigger to make it more attractive to make it you know look nice so i'm here to talk about it so if you've had of it if you're trying if you have a fit and you're trying to try it out if not if you have not actually had of it all right, I'm here to tell you something. Don't do it. Don't try it. It's not good for your health. Okay. So when we talk about seasoning cubes, hmm? what are these seasoning cubes actually made of? These seasoning cubes contains iodized salts, mm, turmeric powder, garlic powder, and some edible starch and what else? Yeah. And some um, flavors yeah so why actually would you want to use something that is meant for cooking spicing up your food to actually inject in your anus <laughs> for it to enlarge okay you are putting yourself at risk of many things like it cannot even be over emphasized you are actually putting yourself at the risk of infection rectal tear rectal prolapse hypertension that you are as a, the risk are so so many like I can't even mention a lot of it but let me talk about hypertension this is new cues are made up of iodized salts and too much intake of this salt causes a rise in your blood pressure which is what we known as hypertension okay that's one stated what else so what is rectal prolapse Rectal prolapse is when the last section of your rectum, that's your large intestine, slides out from your arms, like it starts coming out. Some people call it pie, but I think the medical name for it is actually rectal prolapse. So why would you want to put yourself at the risk of this rectal prolapse? Because you want to have, you want, if believe you want to look so beautiful, you want to have a larger buttocks, you want to be so attractive to the opposite sex. Why? I've mentioned hypertension, I've mentioned rectal prolapse. The next one is actually rectal. So what actually is rectal tear? Rectal tear is a tear, it's a small tear, like on the thin lining of the anus. Of which you see, I can occur when you're trying to fox an object into the anus, fox fully. Okay, there, should, there might have to occur a rectal tear. And this rectal tear, what actually can it also cause for you? You have a rectal tear it's actually gonna lead you to put you at risk of infection it's gonna get infected okay so on the other hand why would you actually want to put yourself at the risk of this hypertension rectal prolapse rectal tear and infection cannot even be overemphasized. so how actually do they do this so how actually do they do this mixture this concussion of this is Nick Hughes. Like when I saw it, I was so like, Are you serious? Is this a height people are actually going to look fine, to look attractive, to just appear so endowed to the eyes of the society, to the opposite sex? Okay, I shouldn't be seen talking about because someone might want to go and try, but I still have to educate you on that. They get a mixture of this quid and into the strange, they insert and inject into their buttocks. <laughs> so what, what are you trying to tell me that you are not comfortable how god created it it's okay you want to look more sexy okay it's okay you want to look more finer or however you look you want to enhance your look but going about it that way is not just advisable okay there are many things you can actually you can actually start an exercise like you can start to work out 
you don't have to start using seasoning cubes to for your boot enlargement you can actually start working out there are many exercises you can enroll in in the gym and you will actually be surprised the results like if you actually adhere to it so with these few points of mind i hope i've been able to educate you on something that you shouldn't try it do not try it it's not good for you it's not healthy for your health it's not just health it's not just advisable do not try it you are putting yourself at risk of so many things that cannot even be overemphasized. if you've not subscribed click the subscription button and leave your notification button on so you always get posted whenever i post a new video i love you so much thanks for coming by to watch me bye